Euro 2024 is coming to an end. From the 24 best teams participating in the finals, now there are only 8 teams competing. 4 spots in the semi-final. And right now, let's take a look and see what interesting things will these 4 quarter-finals bring. The first quarter finalize a great battle between Germany and Spain to be considered the two teams that have shown the most expectations of fans at Euro this year. The fact that they face each other gives fans a thrill and look forward to a fiery double attack from both sides. Blanks are the hotspot of this match, when Germany and Spain possess extremely excellent sea lanes. Now every family is the attacking inspiration of Diamond Strap with three goals so far. The achievement helped the 20-year-old player lead the list of Euro 2024 to pop. Scorers, Spain is no less competitive when they boast every young couple, only 16 and 21 years old Lamine Diamant and Nico Williams, phases of the ball to dribble as well as take advantage of their own speed to create an advantage, has made the hearts of Laroy Hafans flutter. Of course, we can't forget the midfield battle, with a midfield that can be considered the best in the tournament of both teams. It is no exaggeration to say that the midfield of which team is better. In the upcoming match, the winning percentage of that team will be higher. Spain won 8 and the two teams drew 9 matches. The last time the two met was at the 2022 World Cup. Their result was a 1-1 draw. Germany and Spain have only really transformed in recent times. Both have dedicated to the fans the American and eyelid at attacking style. The fact that they faced each other right from the quarterfinals makes fans regret pity that anyone is eliminated but this is football and we have to accept that much. Let's wait and see the two talented strategists Julian, Nack Holtzman and Luis de la Fuente will bring new things to this match. These con match is also very interesting. When Portugal faces France, but hats based on the reputation these two teams have built in the past but at Carroth this year, France and Portugal are both showing a relatively disappointing face, especially the French team when they have only scored exactly three goals after four matches of which only one goal was created by them. Thanks to Kylian Mbappé's successful 11-meter shot, their remaining two goals came from the opponent's own net. Noon understands why the LeBlanc forwards keep the scores on a fifth year. It's not that they don't have a chance to score, but every time the ball reaches the feet of the French players, then surely their final settlement room would be out of rhythm about Portugal. They just had Davery difficult 120 minutes against Slovenia. Two old men run Pepe almost made the European chariot that tour turn home. Quite lucky as goalkeeper. Diego Costa helped the two seniors redeem their mistakes. The highlight after Portugal's recent match, it was the tears of captain Ronaldo. But it is very likely that those tears touched the hearts of the Portuguese national team and motivate the whole decade to fight Towing Lori. The encounter with France though difficult, but it's not without Acha. NC for Portugal to win the Roosters are also experiencing a lot of problems. This match also marks a memorable milestone of Kylian Mbappé when he will face Idol Cristiano Ronaldo in the position of captain the moment the two entered the field, shaking hands and giving Souvenir most welcomed by fans. And this could very well be the last time that Mbappé can face Ronaldo. When Serbia announced Euro 2024 is the last Euro he will attend head-to-head -head history between the two teams. Portugal are leaning towards the hexagonal team with 19 wins. While Portugal's number is only 6 and the two teams drew 3 matches. But in the last two encounters at the Euro finals, Portugal are unbeaten. And that's also the reason for fans of the Iberian team can believe in a victory for the home team similar to France and Portugal. The performance of the England teams of our can't make fans shappy if there is no shining with the reverse bicycle kick of Jelinam in the last minute against Slovakia. Then maybe England would have to pack their bags home home early more than anyone coach Gareth Southgate must be held accountable for. Are the poor performance of the teachers, questionable substitution decisions as well as unusual tactics when pushing Bukayo Saka down to play left back, making England fans outraged and before a team that is extremely excited but when defeated, everything becomes more difficult. With the Swiss national team coach Brad Yakin's army made a surprise when defeating defending champion Euro Italy with a score of 2-0. Thereby seeing Azuri off. If anyone didn't watch this match, that result will surprise them. But if I you watch the whole 90 minutes, so that result is completely deserved. With the country of watches, Switzerland played fair with the ball control, time similar to Italy. Launched many scoring phase off the tanks in the group stage, if there wasn't a shining performance in the extra time off. Nikola von Kroos then three points were lost to Switzerland, just that much. We can see the strength of this team is not to be underestimated in head-to-head -head history. England dominated with 19 wins, while Switzerland's number is only three, but these statistics are for reference only.
with the form of both being completely opposite Hurricane and his teammates, still seem clueless in the way they operate the game, let alone the opponent's net in front of a defensive Slovakia. Two classic England launched 16 shots, but only two of them went to the right destination, and luckily both of them became goals. Facing a stronger Switzerland, the defense ice also more classic and scientific, so how will Tamsa fin the net of Jan Summer here if this match ends and the winners is the Swiss team? Then don't be too surprised with that result. The Austrian team made the Netherlands drop to third place in Group D, but it also unintentionally helped them fall into a branch of competition, quite comfortable with Romania, Austria, and Turkey. And even though Romania is the team leading Group E anyway, then they are not the opponent of the Mozakam club. Proof that the Netherlands completely dominated. For 90 minutes, give the opponent every stat from ball possession, number of shots or goals. The Netherlands are all superior. But at this moment, the journey, Rolman Koyman proudly advanced to the quarterfinals. Here, their opponent was unexpectedly the Turkish team Adagorler and his teammates fought very emotionally. In an extremely fiery Austrian team, the victory on the first is a worthy result. For tireless efforts of Vincenzo Montella and his students, although fans were quite disappointed when they couldn't witness their match between the Netherlands and Austria. But Turkey is not an easy opponent. With the team of the land of Tulips, proof that in head-to-head -head history, the Netherlands could not dominate the Turks with only six wins, four draws and four losses. Even Turkey as one of the agents made the Netherlands unable to win the right attending the Euro 2016 finals. The Austrian team is having a golden generation extremely valuable. The talents like Kenan Chidit or Ada Gorler, a victory for the Netherlands in the quarterfinals will be a launch pad, helping these individuals shine in the future. As for the Dutch team, although the performance of the Aranja Savar has not really convinced the fans, but falling into a not so difficult bracket helps their confidence increase significantly. What do you think? Turkey is still the underdog if put on the scale with the Netherlands. Final is right in front of the windmill country. Whether they can seize it or not depends on their form and how was that day after more than half a month of competition. Euro 2024 is gradually coming to its final stages. The lower rated teams most have been eliminated, but there are still Turkey and Wales who are the dark horses that can create surprises. Let's wait and see. Will the Euro 2024 final bring together all the big names or will the Arabian expected factors contributing to make the tournament more colorful and interesting?